Hey guys, today I'm talking about Cheddar Flow. So if you're into unusual options activity, you've probably heard of Cheddar Flow. So I'm going to review it. I'm on the seven day trial at the moment. If you check the link in the description below, I've got a special link. Uh, it's a referral link for me with a coupon code, which will give you a massive discount to Cheddar Flow. If you're interested in signing up to check it out. Before we get started on the Cheddar Flow review, talking about unusual options activity brings up Mr. Jeff Zanineri and his calendar stocks. So this service is only $49 a year, and I'll put a link in the description for it. $49 you get, every month you get one alert, which is a swing trade alert for usually two or three weeks. And he's looking at unusual options activity flowing into stocks. So he'll pick one which has a lot of unusual options activity. I don't know exactly what his criteria is, but that's the basic idea. And they go up pretty quickly, usually within a few weeks. This last one, though, it took a, took a bit longer. It was Dash, so this one right here. And it went up. This is the daily chart on Dash. So it took a while, but eventually it did pop really nicely. And it's up even more now since he sold. So he bought around here and sold up here. And basically the options on this went up 80%. And that's fairly normal with the service. So it's one of my favorite services at the moment. Definitely check it out. There's a full interview with Ben Sturgill and Jeff on the right here. And you can go and check this out. I'll leave it in the description below so you can go and check out more details on this, like the bonuses that you get. But really for $49 and a 60 day money back guarantee, it really doesn't get better than this in terms of swing trading with using unusual options activity. So you wouldn't have to use Chatterflow, you could if you wanted to, to help you with your decision on this. But um, Chatterflow helps with this type of stuff. So let's get started with Chatterflow, we'll close some of these windows. But definitely check out Jeff, he's really good. So, this is Chatterflow. Uh, if you've not heard of it, it's basically uh, one of the most popular tools. I think there's two or three, Chatterflow being in the top two or three uh, unusual options activity um, trades platform. So, if you look down the page here, and again, make sure you check out my discount link because it will save you a bit of money. Here's what it does. So, it tracks institutional activity, and I'll show you on the actual dashboard in a few minutes what that actually means to gain insights into the latest moves uh, that smart money traders and hedge funds are doing. So that's the basic principle, a bit like Jeff Zen and Eerie stuff. You want to follow the big money. So if you have access to data that shows you what people are doing with large amounts of money on options chains, then you have some insight, right? At least you, you potentially do into how, like what, what people are thinking. So for example, if you see a giant amount of calls being bought by some huge institution, there's a good chance that they know better than we do, right, than us retail traders do, that the stock is probably going to go up. And so it's a bit of an art to it, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but that's the basic gist if you're not used to what this this actually means, this this flow idea. So Cheddarflow provides that information for you, and it does it in a few different ways. At the moment, like I said, I'm just on the trial, so I'm going to tell you about my experience with the trial, and then I'm going to sign up and do the, the premium, because you get some extra things with the premium, for example, you get dark pool data, which um, you don't have on the seven day trial or on the, the, the lower plans. We'll look at the pricing in a second. And you get these AI powered signals for day trading on the premium plan. So this could be really powerful. So I'm excited to check this out, but I'm not covering that in today's video. That'll be for a different, a different video. So the pricing, like I said, check the link below because you'll get better pricing than this. Assuming my code's still active, my coupon code. But here's the here's what you get. So the standard plan is what I'm doing at the moment. You get real-time order flow, which I'm going to show you. You get the filters to basically filter out the order flow, because there's an art to this. It's not just as simple as looking at like one thing. You kind of got to put together all the different bits of data for confluence. You get unusual volume data, flow overview insights, on-demand historical data, and the cheddar AI. But for $65 a month, so a little bit more, not much, you also get the dark pool stuff and the AI powered alerts, which is what I was talking about. So that's the sort of sort of range of prices you're talking about. The annual plan works out a bit cheaper. Again, check the link in the description below for the absolute lowest prices that you can possibly get on this. Okay, so let's look at the actual dashboard. So this is me logged into my trial. I only have four days left on the trial. I've been looking through this. I've used it in the past before, so this is really for demonstration purposes. My plan is to upgrade to the, like I said, to the premium plan, so I can check out the actual AI powered alerts and dark pool stuff a little bit. So I have used this platform before. This is what you're met with when you first log in. 
So basically this is all the unusual options activity happening today. And you may see some pop up. There's one right now, QQQ, popped up here. So you can see the overall flow sentiment for the day is bullish, which is nice. So you can say, okay, it's going to be probably a bullish day. Uh, at least that's a good sign. You have the call flow compared to the put flow and the ratio here. So obviously we have a lot more call flow in general. So in general, the market is, is bullish today. And you can see that's based on like QQQ, SPY, TQQQ, lots of NVDA, Apple, like all these things coming up. So the first thing I wanted to do is point out the, the flow here. You can see it coming up. You get the ticker. You get the option. So these are all options trades, right? So these are picking up on big institutional, most likely options trades. So the cool thing is you get the expiration date. So that's useful because you don't want something expiring too far out, right? So it's the 23rd of September now. This is four days. So this person is betting big that the, uh, well, not that big. I'll show you that in a minute. But they're betting that this is going to go up within four days. And you can see how out of the money we are. So the spot price is two, uh, 228. So this is on Apple. And they're saying the strike price is 225. So this one is not particularly good. And this is where the art sort of comes in. You can say, like, are they really betting that much if this is not a higher strike price than the spot price, right? So what you're looking for is, a, and then this isn't supposed to be a tutorial on, on, on how to do unusual options activity, but if this was saying like 250, let's find one that actually, that actually is out of the money. So for example, this SPY one right here. So this is, um, buy call at 568. So you look at the strike price on the call options and it's above the ask, which signifies again that they're actually aggressive. They want to get into this quite quickly. They've smashed the market button essentially. <laughs> Or at least they're, they're trying to get in this quickly. So somebody just look at these calls, right? 568, but we're only... Actually, that's not a good example either. Spot price is 569. So again, we're already in the money on that. Anyway, a couple of techniques is you look for stuff that's out of the money. So the strike price for calls would be much higher than the spot price. And you look for the fact that these are huge volumes. So you'd look at the premium spent. So this is another key part of these unusual options that Shutterfall gives you. These are actually all quite small, relatively speaking, especially for things like SPY. So we'll talk about that in a sec with the filtering. And then you have the type of orders that they have here. So sweep and block and split. Sweep is, is one of the best ones because that is basically saying, hey, they're trying to get in and they're going to get in on all the exchanges. And this is most likely a, a, an institution. Same with the block. So you can look at the volume. But things that are key here is it gives you the premium spent. So... 100,000 might seem like a lot, and for some of the smaller stuff it is, but for SPY it's not adequate to really say, hey, this is really bullish. So you start to learn, and the good thing about Cheddarflow is they have a lot of videos explaining all of this type of stuff, like how to use this data, because this data is nice, but by itself it's pretty meaningless, right? Like you have to actually be able to figure out what these things mean. And I'm by no means an expert on this um, at all. So I'm just looking down here. We can go to the, the filtering here. So if we filter for a ticker, let's just say we do SPY, right? So if we go SPY, SPY. This is today's SPY unusual activity. And you can filter it down even more. So you can go in here and you can say, hey, actually 100,000 for SPY is not enough. I want to see orders that are 500,000 plus. Because that for SPY, it's so liquid, like you have to look at bigger orders. So it allows you to do that. You can set the expiry. Now, the expiry time frame is important because, like I said, there's no point in looking at things six months out. You're looking for institutions that are buying quickly and aggressively because they think a big move is coming soon, right? So you can set that. That's one strategy. You could do other strategies where you're looking at longer time frames, but that's something you'd have to work out through the tutorials that they give you and stuff. They have all this stuff here, so you can even choose what deltas they're looking at as well. And above ask, mid-market, bid. So there's all these different techniques that you can use. You can add different, you know, other filters in here. Overall, I'm quite impressed with that. So you can see here today on SPY, we've had some puts at 569. So that's not particularly exciting. One thing you can do that's kind of cool, though, is you can look at the size of the order and look at the open interest. So this is a huge, huge portion compared to the open interest. So 
you can look at that and say, okay, these people are bearish probably, but one thing to look at is the size. If this is bigger than the open interest, that would suggest that these were sold puts rather than bought puts. So you have to kind of do a bit of finesse here in terms of figuring this out. These look like they're just puts, so somebody's bearish. Um, and that's quite quite a, quite a large order, 537 for the premium to pay that, and it was a sweep. And somebody bought these calls, though, so there's 700,000 premium on these calls. So this is the basics of it. It's not rocket science, but there's also, like as I keep saying, like there's an art to this. But the cool thing is, uh, Cheerful does provide a lot of really good videos to learn how to do this. So this is how you kind of see today's stuff, and you can like keep it here, and it will just feed down as soon as these spy orders above 500,000 come in. You could even be more picky and set it to like a million. Here's the historical flow, which is kind of cool. So again, you can find a ticker, say SPY. And you can set the date range, so you can say, like, what was last week? Was last week suggesting that we we're going to be bullish? So like, set it to here. So, so what was the, the week before? Were people getting aggressive on the, on the week before? Because that might suggest that this week's going to be bullish. Because sometimes these things are lagged a few days. The moves don't always happen as soon as you see one of these big, like, big orders coming in and these big sweeps so looking here you can see that the premium is still pretty small on a lot of these so you kind of find if there's anything really unusual there's some puts overall we're kind of bullish on this on spy so that's interesting to know so you can integrate this into your existing trading strategy a little bit which is useful for market direction so definitely check this out i think it's definitely worth it um Here's like the overview for the bullish flow. You have to be a little bit careful with this because Tesla is always going to be at the top of the like the flow because it's so so traded, you know, so so liquid. You got to be a little bit careful about saying, "Oh wow, Tesla's like really bullish at the moment." Not necessarily because it just has a lot of bullish flow. It is a good sign that it's not in the bearish flow as well, though. So it does kind of suggest that Tesla might be quite bullish. NVDA is very bearish, and again, it's not really on this side. So that's kind of an interesting fact that these two could be like some of the best bearish and bullish bets for this week. And then you can look at the historical flow by going into the, you know, by searching it in the historical flow and start to look into these in more detail. So this is a nice overview, which is good. It gives you a place to start. Sometimes it's worth pointing at like looking for ones that are not like large caps. So you might find one that's like a little bit different, like a little bit like, oh, that shouldn't really be up there. It's obviously... A, abnormality and outlier so that might be something that is worth paying attention to dark pool levels we don't have access to at this level so i'll be doing another video on that unusual volume this is pretty interesting too pretty useful because volume is often an indicator of price action coming up uh, chart analysis this is just trading view by the looks of it. it just pulls this up so yeah so you can always go and look at the chart so you find your unusual options activity say you find a ticker that has some really bullish flow and then you can pull up the chart and just kind of try and do it all in one platform here and see like, okay, this looks like a bullish chart. You can do your bull flags or pennants or whatever your technical analysis is. This isn't that helpful because most people would have TradingView anyway or the brokerage platform to do this on. So it's a nice addition, but it's not that, that fantastic. The education center is really good. So this is where you can learn about how to do all this stuff. So this is definitely worth checking out. Their YouTube channel is phenomenal, so you can learn how to use unusual options activity to set up your strategies. So overall, like I do like Chatterflow. I think it's not something that's immediately like a magic bullet, though. I think it's something that seems like it's useful, but by itself as a standalone strategy, I wouldn't recommend it. I think you need to integrate your own trading strategy with this as confirmation. So it might help you stay in a trade longer if you see some bullish flow coming in. Or you might be able to use this to find your trades and then use your technical analysis to confirm the unusual option flow and be like, okay, these things combined mean that I'm probably going to take this trade. So overall, I do like Cheddar Flow. There's definitely nothing wrong with it. Uh, the only thing is I, I'm curious about the AI alerts and dark pool levels because I think that's a whole new like level. So part two of this video will be on those. Hopefully this is helpful and I'll talk to you guys soon.